Hey, hey, it's Dana the Gypsy Psychic. Are y'all ready for another message? Come on in, get comfortable, put your feet up, get your blanket, get your pillow, get you something to eat, something to drink, something to smoke. Throw it up on the big screen if you want to, put in the earbuds, kick back and relax because we're going to unpack some psychic messages. If you're new to the channel, it's going to work the way that it always works. I'm going to shuffle and pray. I'll lay out at least 15 cards. I'm going to talk about it as I clarify it and sew together a story. Okay, now let's jump in and see what these cards have to say today. Rolling? Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. How is it rolling, Taurus tribe? Huh? How are things going? Y'all don't think I would forget about you at such an important time as this, do ya? Exciting, major, huge, gigantic, exciting changes happening in the planets, which means that there are huge, gigantic, exciting changes happening in the world. We are entering as we sit right here, right now, as we speak today, into the age of Aquarius. Generations and generations and generations before you have anticipated this monumentous time in history. And here we are, all of us right here, right now, today, sitting in the transition into the age of Aquarius. How freaking amazing is that? Ah, oh, so amazing. For such a time as this, Taurus, you were created. For such a time as this, you chose to be here right now, right here today. Let's see what these cards have to say for you, yeah? I am so excited to do this reading. Let's see what these cards have to say. Give me a second to channel and we're going to throw down. Spirit, Source, Universal Energy. I have the collective with me, Spirit, the collective of Taurus, Spirit. What is coming towards Taurus? What do they need to know? What do they need to know about themselves, their lives, and their futures? What's coming towards them? What do they need to look out for? What do they need to look forward to? And most importantly, how do they navigate the coming situations and circumstances of their lives for their very best and highest good? Spirit, please use me as a clean and clear vessel, Spirit, as an empty medium by which to translate what it is you want the collective to know. Please tell me where the stopping point is for Taurus. I will cut three times and I will pull straight from the top, Spirit. What is it that you want Taurus to know and understand? What is it? That you want Taurus to know and understand where, where is that stopping point? Where is the stopping point for Taurus? Where is right there the stopping point? Okay, all right, you guys, let's cut them three times and see what they say. Let's go. One, two, three. Stick this little guy right back where he goes. And then we've got one, two, three. Bottom of the deck is the two of wands in reverse. I'm going to set this off to the side. And the prince of cups in reverse. Ah, and the princess of cups in reverse. And the king of cups and justice. Wow, look at that. All right, you guys. Let's see what these cards have to say. Eight of pentacles in reverse. Uh, unmet expectations, perhaps. Yeah, look at that. Unmet expectations. The two of cups, some kind of significant relationship. The king of pentacles in reverse, talking about um, not feeling powerful, not feeling that you own title, possibly used to hold title, but don't anymore. Death, an ending, a change, a transformation to the Eight of Cups, uh, deciding that something is just not good enough. Oh, look at you guys. You can't see. I'm sorry about that, you guys. Good thing I caught it so early, right? I get into this. I get to thinking and, and reading these cards, and I just forget that there's a camera. I feel like we're face-to-face. -face. Okay. Six of Wands in reverse. Uh, not winning a battle, some kind of lack of success, to the Nine of Cups. Wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, satisfaction, the nine of swords in the center of your reading, despair, the queen of cups in reverse, interesting, to the seven of swords, some kind of betrayal or deception, strength, having to be strong, needing to be strong, 
Nine of Wands in reverse, uh, giving up on something. Queen of Swords in reverse, salty, angry. Ten of Cups in reverse. Wow. Holy schmoly. And uh, the Temperance card. Temperance, the Fool, Foolish. The Princess of Pentacles, New Manifestation. The Seven of Pentacles, which way do I go? What do I do? The Seven of Wands, your challenge. The challenge, a challenge is... Ten of Wands in reverse, the Tower in reverse, the Hanged Man in reverse. So avert disaster, resist, the Four of Pentacles in reverse, protect yourself, the Hierophant Commitment, the Four of Swords in reverse, to the Moon, and the Lovers. Okay. Princess of Swords in reverse, and the Queen of Wands, wow. The Alchemist in reverse, Prince of Pentacles in reverse. I know, in the upright, in the upright, Ace of Cups. And the Ace of Swords in reverse. All right. Well, I don't know who this reading is for, but this is definitely someone that is experiencing some kind of dissolving of a relationship. Look, the Two of Cups just tried to come out. All right. So the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. It's the first card out. It sets the tone for everything. Unmet expectations. Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Unmet expectations. It, sometimes it's about not learning something, right? Look at that. The Four of Cups in reverse, emotional apathy, and the star. Hope, faith, purpose, renewal. Your path, your purpose. The Two of Cups to the Three of Cups in reverse. Interesting. Okay. Knight of Cups in reverse. All right. So the King of Pentacles in reverse to the Fool. <coughs> the Fool. Brand new beginning, brand new journey. Okay, oh, 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 oh. Look at this, Taurus. Look at this. Hold on a second. Let me get a drink. All right. Look at this. The Fool. Brand new beginning, brand new journey, brand new direction. You also have the star. Brand new beginning. Oh, look, the Ace of Cups. Love. Emotions, emotional growth, a brand new beginning in the journey of emotional growth. Interesting. Hold, I cannot make this up. Death, the wheel of fortune, massive, massive transformation. Wow. All right, Taurus. All right, all right, all right, all right. This is what's going on. I cannot make this up, okay? I cannot make this shit up. This is what's going on. Couple of things you need to know about me before we jump in here. All right. I have a propensity to be inappropriate. If that offends you, you're in the wrong place. I have a, a, a propensity to swear. I guarantee you at some point during this, I'm going to swear if I haven't sworn already. And I will smoke my vape and I will blow smoke in your face. So if any of that offends you, this neighborhood is too rough for you and the neighborhood of unicorns and rainbows and everything that you want to hear somebody say to you is right on down the road. You can choose from probably 5,000 of them if you really look hard. Okay. So all of these reversals do not necessarily mean bad things. It's only going to be a bad thing to you if I touch a sore spot that these cards are saying that you need to examine in yourself. So if you get offended by this reading somehow, some way, that is your first indication that I'm talking to you. All right? All right, let's do this. So what's going on here, Taurus, is the Eight of Pentacles in reverse, okay? Something's not working out in your life. Something just isn't working out in your life, okay? Two of Cups. It has to do with some kind of significant union or relationship. This Two of Cups, just because these two are embraced in each other's love right now, does not mean that it is only about romance, Something ain't working out in your life. It's unmet expectations, and it has to do with something that you are emotionally in union with. It could be your job. It could be your dog. It could be your family relationships, your love relationships. It could be anything, okay? Anything at all. But something ain't working out in some kind of situation with someone else in your life right now. Okay? Okay. You are afraid, Taurus. You are afraid 
Now, this is general. It could go the other way, but do not be the victim in every general tarot card reading that you, that you hear, okay? Take accountability if it's on you. So I'm going to put it on Taurus. If you need to take it off of you and put it someplace else, please, by all means, do. Okay? Something ain't working out in your life in a relationship. Taurus is concerned that there's going to be third-party interference in this relationship. Knight of Cups in reverse. Knight of Cups in reverse here is about jealousy, but it's not like insane. I mean, I guess it could be insane jealousy, but it's more like disgruntled feelings because of some kind of interference in the relationship. All right. Maybe you have in-laws coming into town, right? And your relationship changes when those in-laws stay with you for a week or so and you begin to see someone different than you saw them before. Um, perhaps this is, uh, uh, honestly, it could be getting a dog, right? Perhaps you, your, re, your person got a dog and now all of their attention is being poured onto this puppy, this dog or a new baby, right? Maybe some of y'all have a new baby and the attention of your person is, um, in your opinion, displaced, but it is, uh, it's just not working for you. Whatever's going on here is just really not working for you. So there is some kind of third party interference, okay, that uh, makes you feel emotionally disgruntled. Four of Cups in reverse. You feel left out. This card is about being emotionally apathetic. You feel like your person is emotionally apathetic to the relationship, whatever that is for you, okay? And emotionally apathetic would mean like checked out, checked out of the relationship because your person is focusing on this third party situation. Okay. They're focusing, there's, there is another person or another section of their life that is the third party. Okay. Emotionally apathetic. They're ignoring you or you feel ignored. Okay. The star says this particular situation in your life is supposed to be happening because it is going to be a part of your path and your purpose in your future. All right. So the lesson that you have to learn from all of this right here, right now, is that what you are experiencing with this situation not working out because somehow, some way you are butthurt about not getting the recognition that you want or think you deserve. The star says there is a lesson in this for you. So don't be disgruntled about it. High priestess in reverse, right? Don't be disconnected from the spiritual journey aspect. This is a life situation that is going to teach you a lesson if you're smart right? If you keep all on the inside and ignoring the lesson and all about you, 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 and poor me, and my whole everything is not going the way that I want it to go. If you keep in that mentality, three of pentacles in reverse, um, you are going to continue to have a lack of teamwork and collaboration in your future situations and circumstances in regards to this lesson for you. I know that's complicated, okay? But this lesson for you is something that is either going to make or break your future in a way because if you don't learn it here you will be repeating it again and again and again in different ways until you do learn it so the lesson here is perhaps um to not be self-centered the lesson here is perhaps to well we'll see let's 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 finish reading okay ace of wands this is all going to change for you though it's all going to change. Um, it's all going to change. And I will tell you why. Okay. 
So the King of Pentacles in reverse. This goes to this group of cards over here, right? This is like not feeling empowered, not feeling like you're important, not feeling like you have the title that you should have or the honor or the respect that you should have in a relationship. Because remember, the other side of this is focusing on something else. Uh, could be a job. Maybe you did all the work and someone else is getting all the attention, right? Uh, could be anything. Put it where it goes. It's general. If this was your reading, we could assign it to your actual life, but I don't know what's going on here. I'm just reading you the cards, okay? So, not, not feeling empowered. Possibly used to hold title, but doesn't anymore, okay? Death comes after this. Death says, this is going to end and there is going to be a transformation, Okay, not, not only is there going to be a transformation in you, should you choose to step back and just evaluate and say, all right, I feel like shit in this situation. What is this situation teaching me about myself? How do I process this situation from a higher understanding Instead of my limited human understanding, how do I process this and grasp on to what is happening in my life so I can grow and learn? That's the death card. That is your massive transformation. Stepping through a threshold. There's two messages here, okay? Stepping through a threshold, okay? Okay. The Eight of Cups talks about leaving something behind you that is not working out well, okay? To the Eight of Pentacles in reverse, it's uh, not working out. Ten of Wands, it's a burden and a struggle. It's a burden and a struggle. To the Knight of Swords in reverse, the Six of Cups, the past, or not the past, your current your environment, sometimes the past, Nine of Wands in reverse, uh, giving up. So what is this saying? What is this saying? Death. This is all about to massively change for you. Your whole everything, Taurus, is about to change for you. And it all hinges on you getting whatever it is they're trying to throw down for you in life. Okay? Death. Massive transformation, the fool, a brand new beginning, a brand new journey, a quantum leap in your life, a quantum leap in your spiritual understanding and your awakening. The fool is the epitome of spiritual development. He doesn't know the who, what, when, where, why, or how. All he knows is he is living in his understanding that he feels compelled to do something within himself and he does it. He follows where his intuition is leading him and he just, he doesn't question it. He just goes in the direction of his intuition. That's why this massive transformation is coming out of this butthurt thing you got going over here. Mm hmm. This butthurt thing you got going over here is a character flaw. Yes, it is. It's a character flaw, and it needs your attention. That's why it's happening. Maybe that's why it happens all the time. I don't know. But it's character flaw, and it needs your attention. When it gets your attention, death says massive transformation, like immediately massive transformation. To the fool, a brand new beginning, a brand new journey, a brand new perspective, a brand new direction to the wheel of fortune because now they can make the wheel go to the next step, right? So I can guarantee you that if you stay in this energy, this butthurt energy over here, the wheel will be in reverse. It'll be a blockage because you just got to repeat it, repeat it, repeat it. When you get it and you learn it, boom, the wheel goes... <coughs> The wheel goes upright and everything begins to click because you are leveling up, right? You are leveling up in your spirituality, in your awakening, in your understanding. The whole universe is like, she got it. Yes, he got it. He got it. He got it. He got it. All right, everybody, do what you got to do before we lose their attention. 
right? Do what you got to do before. And, and then you step in to the wheel of fortune. And when you start following your spiritual understanding, you get addicted to it and you really don't want to do anything else because you see the whole big everything and you just can't unsee it, right? You just can't go back into a low vibrational existence once you experience the, the peace of following the path that is laid before you because they will. They didn't, we're not just dumped here with no direction, no guidance, just having to fight and claw and scratch our way through. That is human understanding. That is the understanding of your flesh. A spiritual understanding says, where it moves me, I will go because I know that's in my best interest. I know it's in my highest good. I know it's my internal compass calibrating me to my true north. And boom, there it is. Death, the fool, and the Wheel of Fortune. Holy schmoly. Ace of Cups. Massive, massive, massive emotional growth. This Bert butt hurt thing over here is about your emotional growth. Like I said, it's a character flaw. And you need to do whatever it is you need to do, however that is that it fits into your story. The Queen of Wands, I ask, what is this about? Is the Ace of Cups about new love or is the Ace of Cups about something else? And the Queen of Wands comes on top of this and talks to me about two things because here's the other message, okay? Whew. Talks to me about two things. The Queen of Wands talks to me about your pursuit of achievement and success. So whatever's going wrong over here, right? What's going to change for you is your whole internal combustion. Because the Queen of Wands is the Queen of Fire, right? And fire is passionate and fire represents the inspiration and fire represents strength and power. And inside of your personal constitution, you are going to, where's that fool, have a leveling up of your spirituality. And that's what that Queen of Wands means to me right there. It's beautiful fire energy, powerful fire energy. Okay, the second message I want to point out here as kind of a side note is, is kind of intuitively what I'm picking up here is that your situation over here is also going to change because when you change, this person is going to change, okay? Because whatever this eight of pentacles in reverse, right, needs not being met, um, not getting the lesson, um, feeling all hurt about something over here, right? Feeling all hurt and, and, and betrayed because there's some kind of other energy happening in your life, right? Feeling maybe jealous, okay? When you get a hold of yourself and step into your power, understand that this situation for some of you is actually not about you. Either your person's helping someone, maybe your person's helping someone, maybe uh, someone is sick. There's so many things that could be taking your person's attention away from you, okay? So many things that could be taking your person's attention away from you, but what is taking their attention away from you is actually going to be part of their own transformation, and if you can get through this and transform into this, your person's, whatever's taking them away from you right now, is going to transform by that as well. And all y'all come out on the other side in this massive transformation. 
death. What's going to end? The Eight of Cups, your feelings of emotional abandonment. What's going to end? The Eight of Pentacles in reverse, your unmet expectations or your inability to create some kind of sense of well-being. What's going to end? The Ten of Wands, this burden and struggle that you've been under, possibly in a financial situation. What's going to end? The Knight of Swords in reverse, um, not being clear in your mind six of cups about how your warm fuzzy four walls that your life is built in is going to um go to the nine of wands in reverse and feeling overwhelmed and wanting to give up because you feel like it's disintegrating Six of Wands in reverse, you're having a lack of success here in this whole situation. But why you're having a lack of success is because you're not overcoming the battle. You see, this Six of Wands right here, this is about overcoming a battle, right? He's coming in from battle. The town's folks are all hysterical and cheering him on and stuff. And he has conquered something, right? In the reverse, it's about someone that has not conquered something. What haven't you conquered? This right here. This thing up here is what you have to conquer, okay? So you're feeling like there's a lack of success in the situation, but the lack of success is actually being generated by you. The Four of Swords, contemplation, reevaluation, coming to terms. Coming to terms with what? Grief, sorrow, and pain. Grief, sorrow, and pain. What's the grief, sorrow, and the pain? Well, it's everything that you're feeling at the very front of this reading, okay? It's all of this jealousy, uh, not getting the attention that uh, maybe you used to get. Maybe it was a very sudden kind of thing and everything was awesome. And then boom, something came into your person's life and immediately took their attention away from you. Okay, And maybe it's been going on for a minute. Maybe it's just happening. Maybe it is about to happen. But something's coming that's taking their attention off of you, okay? The Four of Swords. It's time to contemplate the grief, the sorrow, and the pain that you feel from this situation. Learn your lesson, right? Give thanks that you have the opportunity to learn this lesson. Reach down, grab the Fourth Sword, bring stability to your mindset, Four of Pentacles in reverse and stop being greedy in your sense of well-being because this person needs whatever this interference is in your lives. This person must do this. Nine of Cups. Begin to manifest instead wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, and satisfaction. Your whole Everything comes together, Taurus, when you stop being greedy about what it is that's important to you and realize that there's two major important things happening here. Your spiritual development, your emotional growth, and this person's whole thing is transforming because of some kind of outside thing that they're dealing with the five of swords in reverse the second you let go of of your white knuckle grip on a perspective is when you can begin to manifest change in the situation the lesson nine of swords in the center of your reading all filled with anxiety and despair about the situation to the four of wands do not despair. There will be peace. There will be safety. This relationship will be restored. It will. It will be restored. To the Queen of Cups in reverse, this is your person taking their attention away from you. And the Queen of Cups in reverse also indicates your emotional codependency. So perhaps your identity, perhaps this break in whatever is going on here, um, is supposed to be an indication that maybe your emotional and uh, codependency needs to be looked at. Perhaps this is a movement for you to step into your own identity instead of being codependent on this person's identity. Oh, interesting. Very interesting. Mm. 
Mm, mm, mm. Taurus, seven of swords, feeling betrayed and deceived. But really what you're only doing here is deceiving yourself because there is a beautiful growth opportunity for you to handle some kind of quirk in the matrix for you that needs to be resolved. And it has to do with emotional codependency. Interesting. Queen of Swords. Put your mind together, man. See it for what it truly is. See it for what it truly, truly is. See it crystal clear. Eight of Swords in reverse. Get a new perspective. The Hierophant. Grow in your spiritual wisdom. Grow in your growth. The commitment that you have to this situation is going to be strengthened if you will see the bigger picture to the moon, this struggle, this big, deep emotional struggle that you have inside of you. Um, the moon is a card about the epic, the epic journey of the human being, honestly. It's about the struggle between that which you know to be true and that which you really wish wasn't true. And it's clarifying your emotional codependency. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, it's time for you to take a step back and find your own self, Taurus. It's time for you to take a step back and peel away from some kind of emotional codependency in your life. And uh, yeah, grow, grow. This is huge growing moment, huge growing moment. Wow. Strength. This is strengthening Queen of Pentacles, your life. Two messages here. Strength. Strength is overcoming. Overcoming something that you are afraid of. Overcoming something that you are overwhelmed by. It's courage. I mean, look at the chick in the picture, right? I mean, she's snuggling that cat. And that, that takes some courage. But it also takes some knowing, some understanding, and some trust. Queen of Pentacles. That your person is your person, no matter what is taking it away from you now. Okay, um, the, it, maybe if it's this, if, if this is job related, right? Know that you are safe, that your position is safe, that your everything is safe. It's just that maybe there's a merger happening. Maybe there's a merger. And it's just freaking you out completely. These cards say, know that you're safe. Know that you are safe in this two of cups right here. Whatever this relationship is for you, they are still who they used to be. They too are strengthening from this experience, from this lesson, from this thing. The two of you are both growing from some kind of interference in the relationship. The nine of wands in reverse, overwhelmed, wanting to give up, wanting to quit fighting. The queen of swords in reverse, uh, all salty in your mind. Ten of cups in reverse, talking about not the way you want it to be. Temperance, queen of cups in reverse, again, emotional codependency. Three of swords, Grief, sorrow, pain in the mind to the nine of swords, anxiety and despair. You are freaking out over this situation. You are freaking out. Uh-huh. Because that's what an emotionally codependent person does. When the other person cannot feed their need for validation in their identity, the codependent person has a fucking meltdown. And that's what you're doing, Taurus. Whoever this is, whatever this is about for you, you are having a meltdown in the situation. Starts with strength. Know. Have courage. Overcome what you need to overcome, which is this character flaw of emotional codependency. Your person is strong. Your person is your person. They just have to do whatever it is they have to do right now. It ends with temperance. Pull it together. 
Temperance is the balancing of the four characteristics of the human nature that are represented in the tarot. Your mind, your emotions, your motivations, and your sense of well-being. Pull them together. See the bigger picture. Learn why this is your issue, why you are so emotionally codependent. Stand up, brush yourself off, get strong, and stand on your own two feet. You can do it. Strength in reverse. This is your weakness, right? Not having it together in the temperance card is your weakness. Interesting. Told you I was probably going to piss you off. I told you. I warned you. Fool in reverse. Uh, this is foolishness. Foolishness, foolishness. This temper tantrum, this meltdown, this everything that you're overthinking in your mind. Your mind is completely out of control, which means, guess what? You're manifesting your life to be completely out of control. You are what you think. You are what you think, and you are thinking yourself into a place of a massive panic attack. Fool in reverse, it's foolishness. Temperance, again, in the upright, pull it together. Be tempered. Lovers, this situation, this person that you are experiencing with this with right now, they are solid. They are so solid throughout this whole reading. Two of Cups in the upright, Queen of Pentacles in the upright, the lovers in the upright. All of these beautiful cards right here. Transformation. Transformation of your relationship is what this is. This is a breaking point. You are either going to make it or break it right here, Taurus. And you need to know that your person is solid in this whole situation. You're the one that's out of control of yourself because you are emotionally codependent for this person to feed you your sense of personal well-being and security when in fact the lesson here is for you to learn how to feed yourself your own sense of personal well-being. Boom, Taurus. Boom. That's it right there. Your person is solid. Sun in reverse. What you don't see clearly, Princess of Pentacles, is that this is the seedlings. What did I just say? Right? This is the, the ground to plant seeds. And this, or the seeds that you've planted in this relationship, they're either going to die or they're going to prosper. And the Princess of Pentacles says they're going to prosper if you'll get your shit together. Seven of Pentacles, right? Get your shit together. <laughs> Reflect and assess. Take a step back. Reevaluate the whole damn situation. Seven of Wands and face your challenge head on. Ten of Wands in reverse and dump this huge, gigantic burden of emotional codependency. <laughs> the tower in reverse. This tower in reverse is talking about averting disaster. How are you going to avert disaster? Well, like I said, you're going to make it or break it. You're either going to let this crumble or you are going to have a personal transformation out of this. The tower is an indication that what we are building cannot be built where we're trying to build it. If you're trying to build a significant relationship here, the way you're going about doing isn't healthy and it's going to disintegrate on you. Okay? Tower in reverse says use this indication here to avert disaster and have a massive personal transformation so the two of you can come together after this bump, after this hiccup, and be stronger than before because you are allowing someone else to have the freedom to grow and develop where they need to grow and develop and you also are going to grow and develop and stand on your own two feet and be happy about it. Hangman in reverse. Stop resisting. Stop resisting this whole thing. This is a, a lesson that you have repeated again and again and again, Taurus. You have. Stop resisting this whole thing. Four of Pentacles in reverse and stop being greedy about your sense of well-being. The Hierophant spiritual growth, growing, and it's the second time. It represents your commitment to this situation. It represents this situation's commitment to you. It represents your person being solid in the situation. The foundation stones are there for this relationship to be something really, really good. 
but you got to rein yourself in. You do. You got to rein yourself in. See it as the growth opportunity that it is instead of um, the, the starvation aspect that you're finding it to be. Growth, emotional growth, spiritual growth, the four of swords in reverse. Um, this is overthinking, 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 all over the place, the moon. This, again, the struggle between you, the struggle in yourself, between yourselves, between your flesh and your spirituality, right? Flesh says, I want it the way that I want it. Spirituality says, oh, but there's so much more. There's so much more. The lovers, again, your relationship is solid. It's so solid, Taurus. Princess of Swords in reverse. Don't screw it up. All talk, no action, undelivered promises. Don't screw it up. Unconditional love means that sometimes people have to go their own way for a minute. And it's not personal at all. It's not personal. People can grow together. But people also have to have time by themselves in their own energy to grow. Sometimes even the people we love the absolute most need to grow alone. Interesting. Queen of Wands to the Alchemist in reverse, the Prince of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups, and the Ace of Swords in reverse. All right, what's this say? This says, your person, two messages here. I almost feel like I'm reading for two people. I feel like I'm reading for both sides of the relationship. So the Queen of Wands, Queen of Wands, Queen of Wands. Um, she was up here as well, right? Perhaps you are dealing with a fire energy. Interesting. Um, the Queen of Wands, again, represents your spiritual growth. It represents um, achievement and success, leveling up in your spirituality when you understand all of this right here, okay? Um, this Queen of Wands also represents your person, okay? You're both growing to the alchemist in reverse. The alchemist in reverse talks about untapped potential. The untapped potential between the two of you and in each of you individually is about to explode. And when it explodes, when you explode individually, the two of you come together and explode together. You come back into the whole thing. And I don't see a breakup here. I see you thinking about a breakup, but I don't see an actual breakup happening here. So when this space comes back together again, the two of you are stronger individually and super strong as an entity. Untapped potential. The Prince of Pentacles. Long, steady, stable relationship. Ace of Cups. A leveling up in the love that you guys have for each other. If you will give this person space to grow, their love for you will grow because it is a deep spiritual thing that's happening here. If you will give this person space to grow and use your space to grow as well, when the two of you come back together, there is a ginormous amount of untapped potential to be long, steady, stable with a brand new elevated kind of love between the two of you. Taurus in their head with the Ace of Swords in reverse. All in your head. Your head rules your ego. Your ego rules your head. Your emotions are ruled by your spirituality. Get out of your head, Taurus. Two of Wands in reverse. You can't build the kind of future that you want to build doing what you're doing here. Prince of Cups in reverse. Jealousy, feeling ignored, feeling downtrodden in your emotions. Princess of Cups in reverse because you're not getting that emotional feed right now. King of Cups. Love in a bigger way, Taurus. Love in a whole way. Love in a complete way. It's not about you. 
You have to take a step back and see the whole big picture, Taurus. The whole big picture. Love in a deeper way. Maybe this is the first time you've ever experienced love like this. And the separation, the space between the two of you has you all completely freaked out. But see, this is growing. The King of Cups has grown in his emotions. He's in control of himself. He loves in a way, this is agape love. It's a love that goes beyond anything that we can really describe in words. It is the root of love. Source is the root of love. The King of Cups is a replication of that kind of love. Love this person wholly and not just because they feed you what you need. Stand on your own to justice. This is in your best interest. This is the truth. This is the path. This is accountability for your journey. This is what they want you to know. This is important. Really important. Interesting. I hope this helps someone. I really do. I can see things in my life like this. Let me, y'all want to know what y'all want to know? All right, so I'm going to stop the video here. I'm going to pause it. And then at the end of the little trailer thing, I'll tell you how this applies to my life if you want, if you want to know. Because it's super cool because there's, it's an, it's a perfect example of how this could be anything in anybody's life. All right. Namaste. All right, you guys, so in my life, how I see this playing out in my life is this, and, and it's so rudimentary, it's amazing to me, okay? So how I see this playing out in my life is that um, I'm making this big decision about um, my horse, okay? So I'm moving my horse from the boarding stable that she's at. She has a big, huge, gigantic, like the size of a football field um, paddock that she lives in, right, with a little house little shelter. And um, it's a great place. It's awesome. It's like bougie as hell. First time I've ever kept my horse at like a bougie place, but it's nice, really nice. It's awesome. I love everybody there. Okay. But I believe that horses should be kept in the most natural state as possible because we ask them to do like crazy things for us. And the least we can do is make sure that their life is as happy as hot as possible, right? So for me and my personal belief system, I'll give a shit what anybody else thinks. But for me and my personal belief system, I think my horse needs to live with other horses in a pasture setting where she can be in a herd. So I'm moving her to a place where she is going to be um, with one, two, three, four other horses, okay? And she's going to be wild and free in a pasture, and she's going to be able to um, interact in a herd mentality because it's important, right? So this, for me, my emotional codependency in this particular situation, my identity thing in this particular situation is that I, um, I, everything is going to change, right? Everything is going to change. Um, I'm going to be um, with a girlfriend who has a horse as well. She's going to be up there a lot. Um, my dynamics with my horse are going to change because right now I go see my horse for hours at the end of every day. Thank God the daylight saving times thing has happened, right? And um, she's a huge part of my identity. She's my little soulmate. She really is. We have a relationship that I couldn't even begin to explain to you. Anywho... Um, I see her all the time. So now that I'm moving her in with a bunch of other horses, the third party situation, right? I'm really concerned with the way that the dynamics of our relationship are going to be because we've worked really, really, really hard to build this special bond that we have. 
and I don't want her to get all buddy sour with herd mentality and forget all about me and forget all of our training that we had. So that's where all of my anxiety from this comes. That's where I'm feeling powerless, right? But these cards are telling me and my situation that it's going to, she's going to grow I'm going to grow. And when we come back together again, and, and, and you have to understand there's no, there's no time lapse, right? It, w when we come back together again, after this transition of her changing and getting all adjusted to everything and me moving and all of that kind of stuff, right? When we come back together again, our relationship is going to be fortified and stronger because this transition is going to point out not only holes in our relationship that we need to work on with training, but also holes in my own sense of identity because she is what I do with all of my spare time. And now that she's going to have friends to hang around with, I'm going to have time on my hands to do something else with myself. So who do I want to be and what do I want to create next? This can be anything for anyone, as small as moving your horse to a new pasture or as huge as the actual dynamics of an extremely important marriage or love relationship. Or it could mean the difference between you quitting a job because you're overthinking something and hanging on just a little bit more and then everything, boom, changes and your whole career goes in a brand new direction. This could be so many things for so many people, and it is a beautiful, beautiful reading. So anyway, there you go, you guys. I hope that y'all um, do something with this, all right? Namaste.